everyone, it's Justine and welcome to the 12 Days of Christmas. It's day 10 already. I'm super excited to be showing off some stamps from the Ton, the Brushed Mary, and the Holiday Pine Cones, which is a really cool layering stamp. Now throughout my series, I really wanted to give a shout out to all of the people who gave me a chance to guest design for them during 2016 and I was really hoping to feature each one of those companies during the 12 days. I'm not saying that I designed for all of the companies I featured during the 12 days but a lot of them I did and it's just such an honor and so exciting and I just wanted to say thank you again to all those companies and the ton for having me as a guest designer as well. So I'm hoping I can pay it forward a little bit for all their kindness and feature their products in my videos because I absolutely love them so much. So I'm taking the Brushed Mary stamp again from the ton and I am going to be adding some Versamark ink and because this is the first time I'm inking up this stamp I really want to be thorough with the Versamark so I did maybe put a little bit excessive amount of ink on it but I want to just make sure it works out perfectly because I'm not stamping with my Misty for the card. I think it's important to show a variety of tools that are useful for everyone. Um, for those of you who don't have one and maybe feel like I use it too often I like to bring out my old stamp press now and again. And I'm going to stamp this Mary here onto my card. And you can see it in the light because I have a really bright lamp above me, which sometimes gives off an awful glare. But at least you can see the Versa mark when I'm stamping it. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to go add in the Christmas as well. And again, I'm just inking that up in the Versa mark and I'm stamping that here underneath the Mary because I'm already able to see where I stamped that. Eventually I ended up adding a pine cone as well, so to save some time and some energy, you can stamp actually all three of them at the same time using a Misty, or if they all fit on the stamp press, go ahead and stamp all three of them at the same time and emboss them all at the same time. I just wasn't too sure what I was going to do with this card just yet. So I took some super fine gold embossing powder from Ranger, and I went over top of my stamped image here and I put a generous amount of embossing powder. You end up putting the rest back in the jar anyway so you can use as much as you need or even be excessive like I am. And I'm just going to pick it up with my tweezers and I'm going to flick the back of it. I like to use my tweezers for these because your fingerprints will make embossing powder actually stick to them as well so I try not to put my fingerprints on there too often. And my favorite part about melting gold and silver embossing powder is just how amazing everything looks. And so I'm just going to speed you up here uh, while I'm doing it, but you'll be able to see everything start to turn. And you'll notice that my cardstock is warping slightly under the heat. And what I usually do is just stick it between some paper overnight or on in between a dictionary or something when the card is finished. And it generally works out for the best in the end. Now you can see the embossing powder melting, it changes color, it becomes really, really shiny. And it's such a beautiful process. This is where I also decided to add the holiday pine cone. I decided to add this embellishment and I thought the card just needed a little extra image here. So I grabbed the middle image because this is actually a layering stamp. So you have three different layers to make it how it looks when you stamp it in colors. But using the middle layer left enough detail uh, to be able to just emboss it by itself. So, and I think it looks really pretty. So again, just embossing that in gold. And once again, to save time and some warping, you could also do this all at one time. You don't need to stamp them separately like I did. And that just makes it really, really gorgeous. But I wanted to add a little bit more gold, so I just took the Versamark and I inked the edges of the corners of these just so it creates sort of a framed edge around the two corners or two opposite corners. And I added just some embossing powder on both sides and heat embossed that as well. I think because I'm going to be attaching it to a black card base as well, this helps it really differentiate between the base and the card panel and it gives it just a little bit of an extra added touch. So again, you can make this super quick and easy by simply embossing the Merry Christmas and the pine cone on black or white cardstock, or probably even red would work with silver or silver and blue, whichever your favorite card combination is. And you don't need to necessarily add these extra features to it to make a quick, easy bulk card. This card you literally can just stamp and emboss by itself and it would make beautiful Christmas cards. So I'm taking my panel and I'm attaching it to a nice sturdy card base. This is going to help with the warping as well. And then I just stuck it between a book overnight that was really heavy and all the warping had gone away. And it's absolutely gorgeous. I love the way that it turned out. A very quick, easy, simple card. And again, you can switch up the colors to whatever you like to make more traditional Christmas colors or whichever you prefer. 
So thank you so much for watching and a big thank you to The Ton who is also sponsoring a $20 gift certificate today. So let me know what your favorite Christmas dessert is in the comments and I'll pick a lucky winner at the end of the series. Thanks so much for watching.